Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 11.1 from Sadiku book. So the question is, if Vt is equal to that function and It is equal to that function, calculate the instantaneous power and the average power. Okay, let's see the function here. The only problem that we have here is this is the different function. This is cosine and this is sine, right? So we need to convert this sine into cosine let's do exactly that by using trigonometric identity so let's put a note here that we have a cosine 90 degrees minus x is equal to sine x right so if we have this sign here, we can convert it into cosine using this identity. So we will have minus 33 and then cosine 90 degrees. And let's put all in the brackets here as the x, right? So we will have 50t and then minus 30 degrees. Good. Okay, now let's simplify things. We will have minus 33 cosine. And we will have, I think we'll have minus 50t. And then we will have 90 degrees minus minus. So it's become plus. We will have plus 120 degrees. Good. And now I will take out the negative sign minus 33 so we'll have it like this minus 50 t then minus 120 degrees and all things good here so we will have okay now let's do another trigonometric identities where cosine of minus x is equal to cosine x so we can just ignore the negative sign here. So we'll have minus 33 cosine 50t minus 120 degrees. And the unit is in ampere. Good. Now let's put this into depth. Yeah, let's put this here. Okay. And I think we can work on the powers. Okay, let's clean up this and move on. So now we need to calculate the instantaneous power, which is this formula here. Pt is equal to Vt multiplied by It. Okay, uh, and what is Vt? Vt is 160 cosine 50t and then multiplied by this one here we will have minus 33 cosine we have 50t minus 120 degrees good and what is it 160 multiplied by minus 33. 160 multiplied by minus 33. We'll have minus 5280. Minus 5280. Minus 5280. And then cosine 50t. Then we'll have cosine 50t minus 180 degrees good now let's plug this into this trigonometric identities so we'll have minus 5 to 80 multiplied by one half and then we'll have cosine a minus b 50 t will 50 t will cancel each other minus and minus becomes plus so we will have 100 and 20 degrees here and then plus cos a plus b so we will have cos 
we'll have 100 T then we'll have minus 120 degrees okay now let's plug this into calculator right let's set up our calculator as usual we will have minus 5280 multiplied by one half we'll have minus 2640 minus 2640 then what is cosine 120 cos 120 that will be in degrees right okay that will be minus one half i will have minus 0 0.5 here and then plus let's just leave it as is right cosine 100t minus 120 degrees good now we will have this minus and minus becomes positive so we'll have 2640 multiplied by 0 0.5 we have 1320 13 20 and then minus 2 6 40 cosine 100 t minus 100 m 20 degrees and the unit here will be what so this is the instantaneous power p t good and now let's move on to calculate the average power Oh, I think I made some mistakes here. This is not a point. Okay, now let's calculate the average power. Let's do this one. P is equal to one half. The real part of P multiplied by I conjugate. Right? But our V, let's convert this into fast solvers. Our V is our V. Our V is 160. And the angle will be 0 degrees, right? And our I, we have this one. We will have minus 33. And then the angle will be minus 120 degrees. But for I conjugate, we flip the sign of the face. We will have minus 33. And the angle will be 120 degrees. So let's plug that into our formula. 1 half multiplied by the real part of P. P is 160. And the angle will be 0 degrees. And then multiplied by minus 33. The angle will be 120 degrees. Good. And I think we can just plug this into the calculator. We will have, ah, what is it? 160. The angle will be 0. Multiplied, oh, that will be, the angle will be 0. The angle. Oh, it's not, oh, let's com put this into complex one. 160 and the angle will be 0 and then multiplied by 33 and the angle will be minus 120 good okay we'll have minus minus 2 6 40 and then we will have minus oh that will be minus right this this is minus so some mistakes there what why 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 is math error okay let's let's just I think the convention will be wrong on this calculator. So we will have this multiplied by 30 and then the angle is 120. Oh, 
Uh, okay. I think we need the negative sign here. So it is not an error like this. Yes. Yeah, to 640. And then this will be minus J four thousand four four five seventy two point six four five seventy two point six okay now let's just the take the real part so we'll have one half multiplied by two six forty and so we will have our average power is thirteen twenty and the unit is what and this is the average power so we already calculated the instantaneous power and also the average power hopefully this will help you to solve this problem thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye